Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have a little bit of an additional information about what Keyshot 11 would be looking like as the folks at Luxian have just announced a brand new sneak peek of some more features that might be coming over to Keyshot. And one of the most impressive one is the 3D paint and also the Keyshot web view. Now with all of this in place, it turns out that most of these 3D rendering tools, Keyshot for example, Marmoset for example, they're looking towards the idea of skipping that extra step. The extra step of you exporting your file from a 3D package, sending it over to a different package to do your texturing, then bringing it finally to either Keyshot or over to Mamoset to do your lighting and rendering. I think they're finding a way to bridge that divide. And with the way Keyshot is set up, I think it is working in a very intuitive way, owing to the fact that they are pushing for a sort of non-destructive workflow. So with what we have here, which is the UI that is currently not confirmed to be the final UI that we'll be getting, we do have a 3D paint node. Now with the 3D paint node, you can have as many layers as you want and you can connect this node to different node points. So with something like this, which is very procedural, there's gonna be a lot of competition coming over to the texturing tools that is already there. So it is now a matter of if you'd want to go through Substance to get to Keyshot. And for most product visualization artists, I think going with something that is very procedural that gives you real-time rendering directly on your viewport is more of an option contrary to going through the other route. And you know, the whole procedural thing is just one step ahead of what every other texturing tool in the competition actually offers. Something else which is also part of the tease is the CMF tool, which would allow for consideration of materials and also finalizing of a product. And regardless of the variation changes that you can see here, we already talked about the idea that a physics animation set of tools would be coming over to Keisha. This is also something that is pretty impressive as food photographers and also visualization artists would definitely love it. Something else which I think most people would love on the fly is the web viewer. So the web viewer has had a bit of a facelift as right now you can not only preview the materials, but you can also interactively change the lighting of the entire scene. You can also work with this either on your mobile device or on the PC, and this just allows for easy accessibility. So this is more like it. Keyshot 11 is coming. Something that is not yet confirmed is if we're definitely getting FBX animation for characters. Now we already talked about the idea that this is something that will be changing the way Keyshot will be perceived in the community. An FBX animated character importing feature, which doesn't just import the FBX character, but imports the animation itself. Believe me, that would be awesome. And that's about it. For those who would like to catch up with when Keyshot 11 is going to be released, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can sign up and get notified once Keyshot gets announced. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.